Hello everyone. Welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are solving a problem basing on the concept of reflection of the light, which is a subtopic of ray optics. Let me read out first of all what is the given problem is. The problem is like this. There are two plane mirrors that are inclined at an angle theta. Here is that angle. Inclined at an angle theta. A light ray incident parallel to one of the mirrors. This is that light. This is parallel to the the bottom mirror. The bottom mirror is something like a, say this one, mirror one. Is incident parallel to this mirror. Then it has traveled like this. So this is the first incidence. This is the second incidence. This is the third incidence. What shall be the value of the theta so that the light ray retraces its path? Retraces means coming back, comes back to its path after third reflection. That means after striking here, it has to, after striking here, it is simply coming back. If that is the case, what is the angle theta between the two mirrors that's what your question is right let us try analyzing this question the first point that what we need to know is uh, the light ray will retrace its path you know in the case of reflection in the case of reflection the incident ray reflected ray and the normal lies in the same plane and angle of incidence equal to angle of reflection. Both are equal. If angle of incidence is zero, automatically angle of reflection is also equal to zero. Angle of incidence with the normal. That means the light ray will come back in the same path that it has gone. Like this. It has gone like this. Here is the normal. It strikes with the normal with a zero angle, it reflects back with the same zero angle and comes back in its path. That's called something like retracing of the path. That means there is a retrace. The light ray retraces its path. So the meaning of the light ray retracing its path is it is striking the point, angle of incidence at the normal itself. That means this is angle 90 degree. Or this angle is also equal to nothing but equal to 90 degree. That's the first observation that we need to make. Now, the light ray is striking parallel to the bottom mirror as per the problem. So, this horizontal line is similar to this horizontal line. So, this is nothing but the same angle between the two mirrors. So, this angle becomes automatically equal to theta itself. Because the angle between the two mirrors is nothing but given in the problem like theta. Now, let us draw a normal at the point P. So, this becomes automatically this value being a normal. The total angle between these two is 90 out of which this is theta. So, this angle becomes automatically 90 minus theta. This 90 minus theta is angle made by the incident light ray with the normal. So this is nothing but angle of incidence. We know angle of incidence is nothing but angle of reflection. This is the reflected light ray. So this value also must be equal to automatically 90 minus theta. Again, these two are perpendicular 90 degree. Out of which this angle is 90 minus theta. So this angle must be equal to theta itself. That's the first conclusion that we have got. The angle at the point P is nothing but equal to theta. So we can say, basing on simple geometry, basing on simple geometrical rules, angle at the P or else angle 
R P Q is nothing but equal to theta. That is nothing but the angle between the two mirrors itself. That is the first understanding that we had. Now, let us consider at the point Q. Again, there is a normal. This is that normal. Right? So, this is angle of incidence. Then that is equal to y. This is nothing but angle of reflection. We know angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. Therefore, that is also equal to y. Now, we know that this is nothing but the normal. So the total angle is nothing but equal to 90 degree. Out of which this angle is i. So, this angle becomes automatically 90 minus i. Right? This is the basic observation that we have made. Let us continue our discussion now. Now, in the triangle something like PQR, the total angle in the triangle PQR, the total angle is 180. That is, angle P plus angle Q plus angle R. Angle P is theta. Angle Q is nothing but this total value to y. Angle R is nothing but equal to 90 degree. So, the total value is nothing but equal to 180 degree. So, I can conclude theta plus 2i is nothing but equal to 90 degree. That's one understanding. Now, let us take another triangle. In triangle OQR, OQR. Again, the total angle has to be equal to 180 degree, that is angle O plus angle Q plus angle R is 180 degree. Angle O is theta, that what we have to find out. Angle Q, we have already found it like 90 minus i. Angle R is 90. That's nothing but equal to 180 degree. This is 180 and this is also 180. That implies theta minus i equal to 0. That implies i equal to theta itself. Substituting this data here as theta plus 2i is 90. But i is also equal to theta. Theta plus 2 theta is 90 degree. 3 theta is 90 degree. So, the theta is nothing but equal to 30 degree. So, this given scenario that if the incident light ray is parallel to the first mirror and if it has to get retraced its path after the third reflection, that is possible only when the two mirrors are inclined by an angle of 30 degree. Thank you for watching. Keep coming back for more and more video lessons. Thank you.